Hello everybody and welcome to another Project Zomoid Mapping 101. So in this video we are going to decorate the house that we made in the previous video a little bit more. While we're at it we're also going to make a small change to the shed. Now to make this shed look a little bit nicer we're going to add some more details to the roof and we're going to change the outside a little bit. For the outside I am going to properties and change the exterior wall to the same pattern that we have on the inside and hit apply. I think that one looks a little bit better. I'm also going to hit G to select grime for the outside of the building. Could also have done this in the properties value on the bottom. There's also grime for the walls, but hitting G is a lot faster. Now we're going to make the roof a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to go to the upper floor. Now again, I have pressed H to highlight the current floor that I'm on. You don't have if, if all your layers are the same color, as in how well they're lit, that means no certain layers highlighted, and it means it's very easy in tile mode to draw on the wrong layer. Press H, it only highlights the layer you're on, and as you can see, I don't have a roof if I go down. Hope that makes any sense. Now, in tile mode, I'm gonna add some details to make this building pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna go into tile mode and search for roof. And then in, let's see, it is number three, roofs number three. There are these, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you. These little roof panels. Now these belong to the edges of the roof. I place them on the layer below, go to roof, and I can place them on the edge. Now, now this is when pressing H is handy because then you can see how it's gonna look. I'm gonna drag them out there. And that look gives it a little bit of an overhang and it looks pretty neat. Now pressing H again, going up a bit, I'm going to add some grime to the roof. Now having grime on the roof may or may not have a lot of sense depending on where you're from. But I like having a little bit of more detail on the roof. So select some grime, go to the grime layer, I'm going to draw it out. Now there's two grime layers, so you can draw, draw them out in both directions. And that's it. That's it. Add some roof details save that out let's check it out in the world that makes it pop a lot better adds more details a lot cooler and what we can also do is add some grime to the walls go back down and then take one of the corner pieces i love these these always look great go to wall overlay and just put them down in the corner just like that also do a little piece for the window on the side it just helps sell that it's been in distress and it's been, you know, not taken care of that well over the past 100 years during the zombie apocalypse. To emphasize that, we could also add some wall cracks. I'm going to do it on the wall overlay layer again. And that just looks very cool. Maybe with how the panels are vertical, it doesn't make all that much sense. All right, so we're going to take one that just stays in its own board, mostly. Kind of like that looks very cool let's add a little bit of trash now there's a whole bunch of trash and you can go overboard and just add a ton of it and i tend to add this on the furniture layer but having this there probably doesn't feel that right in game just adding like a can or two to this side can really sell and ground the piece you can see that looks really cool and what you may also want to do is add grime to the floor. That's not really necessary if it's on grass. If you add your buildings to like pavement or streets or whatever, you know, man-made surface you're putting them on, maybe add some grime to the floor as well. Now, for now, I think the shed looks very cool. Let's go over to the main building and also do some magic there to make it feel a little bit cooler. Now, again, I'm going to press G to open up this grime for the outside menu and add some grime there and while we're at it go to tiles and add a little bit of trash around the trash container now here it would make sense if we add a little bit more trash i always try to fit or find one that's you know gonna fit in we're gonna actually add this on the no let's add it on the furniture that makes sense i try to find something that uh that's gonna you know work in game as well look cool i think that works maybe 
a banana peel somewhere around me. Oh, just a little bit of nastiness. Maybe over there. I think that could work. I press H to only show the floor that I am on. Go inside, and maybe inside you also want to add some trash or some papers. It's a nice way to add a little bit of details or tell a little bit of a story. Um, you can do the same thing with like blood. If you look for blood, there's blood for the wall and blood for the floor. Now, for for the wall, I generally tend to put stuff on the floor or wall overlay, and for the floor, you probably want to ch either check floor overlay or put it on for a furniture. From behind the cabinet doesn't make much sense though. I'm not gonna put any blood in in this case. I'm gonna go and add some grime to the inside of the building as well. So I'm gonna right click all of these rooms one by one. Then on the side you have grime for the floor, grime for the wall. Now I already told you guys in the last video I was gonna do this, at least I think I did, when explaining the rooms tab, but I totally forgot to actually do it. And this is how I quickly do it for a building. A little bit better, a little bit more, you know, disgusting. Sell the effect. Now, the wall tiles I picked for the, uh, the kitchen, these are the motel wall types, and I picked those for a reason. That's because they have this nice little arch that we're going to put in on the walls layer there. And it creates a really cool feeling for the house. That's a uh, Pretty cool, we can add some more grime to the walls. Not too much, I don't want to do it, overdo it, but just a little bit of stuff on the outside maybe. And maybe on top of the door here. I think that's pretty cool. Now for cracks, we are gonna use some big, big one right next to the door. We add one in the Bathroom to two present just a little bit. Uh, probably don't want to overdo it all the time. You know, spice things up a little bit. You can get away with a couple of things. And that makes it feel a lot nicer. I'm gonna go search for ornamental, and there's a bunch of bushes in there which we're gonna place on the furniture layer. I'm just gonna put these around the house. I do this with a lot of housing on in general, because it just, it, it really sells, makes it pop a little bit more. You can also add like a dining table, something like that to the outside, but it just sells the house a little bit more. Now, so far we've been doing a lot of stuff in tile mode. Um, all the stuff you do that in tile mode cannot be rotated with the building. So keep that in mind. I will go over rotating buildings in a future video where I talk about like the gold standard of buildings that you can make to quickly populate your city or town that's not this video this video is just talking about how i detail my stuff now again we've been talking a lot about tile mode we are going to go to iso mode and add some tiles in there so it's easier to use them in isometric mode in contrast to tile mode in isometric mode you can add more stuff yeah that, that's kind of the point you can double click on any of these entries so i'm going to click on a random one let's go for cooking and then it opens up this building tiles menu. Now, if I scroll down on this screen, you can see that these are all the entries that I have over here as well. In this case, I can actually add new stuff or I can search for one that's fitting and I can add more stuff to that one. In this case, I'm gonna make one called tutorial. It's gonna be yeah, it's in the middle. Let's move it all the way to the top so we have something to work with. I'm going to create a new entry in there. That gives me west, north, east, and south. And that's just fine. And in here, I'm going to search for ornamental. I have these options, and I am going to actually drag these in. And click OK for now. You don't have to also add east and south. Uh, if there's no east and south options, it's going to use west for east and north for south. It's 
very easy, very straightforward. Now, as you can see, I have a tutorial entry here now, and I can select these options, and if I hit O to unhide those things, I can actually place these bush bushes now in isometric mode. Well, before we couldn't. It's because there's a whole bunch of tiles available in tile mode or in your tiles folder, basically. Uh, like the custom stuff I got from Dylan, from the, the workshop or my own furniture sets that I made. Um, you can have more stuff. There's also a whole bunch of railings or like computers, you know, appliances that are in the tiles already by default, but they are not, not set up in isometric mode. That's something you have to do yourself. It's tedious, but it will help you out in the long run. It'll make your stuff look a lot cooler. This is basically how I detail my buildings. I don't put too much details into them. I've seen people really use a lot of stuff. I tend to keep it just a little bit more detailed than the vanilla stuff at times. But I tend I try not to overdo it. Um, there's also people out there with you know computers that are not too good. So if you detail the shit out of everything, and those people boot up your map, they may run into issues. I'm not sure how heavy all this stuff is. I didn't do any tests. I'm not a developer. Just, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, as always, shout out to my patrons on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you like these videos, consider liking and subscribing. I hope you have a very, very nice day.